Hey guys, this is Hyder from Xtrades back with another video and in this video we're going to be talking about the flag setup and specifically like bull flag setups, right? So there's a lot of variations of bull flag setups, right? So the first, I know there's different names for these and I don't know the exact names, but um, so the first type of flag is this, right? So price typically tends to consolidate in between like this range, right? And then you start to get tightening action, right? So price tends to like tighten up, tighten up, and then over here, we typically get a big breakout or we can get a big breakdown. So this is the first type of setup, first type of flag setup that I look for, right? Uh, second type of flag setup is when you have something, when you have resistance over here and price just continues to tighten up, right? And then you get a big breakout or big breakdown so that's the second type of setup and then finally the third type of flag setup that I look for is uh, let me adjust this a little so typically you get price uh, that made a big move up and now it's currently flagging it's currently consolidating forming a flag going down a little bit so typically for this you want to have a big move up first and then you go you start to form an actual flag right so uh, you can see the flag formation here right this is the pole this is the flag you start to go sideways or you go to uh, or you're going um, down a little bit right and then you get a big breakout or a big breakdown and ideally in for all of these setups you want a big move first right so you want a nice pull first and then you either go sideways or you go down a little bit and then break out break down um, but yeah these are typically the type of flags that i uh, want to look for so this is a pretty well-known pattern i'm sure a lot of people know this but i want to cover this more in detail and show you guys some specific examples of how well the setup works so i'll start off with tesla tesla is one of the biggest winners in the last uh, 10 years right or even five years but tesla formed a lot of nice flag setups in the 2020 run so let's take a look at tesla over here so tesla made a very nice move up right so this is the pole and then tesla consolidated right it's going sideways here and then had a big breakout move from that setup right and typically when you're buying these breakouts all you want to do is or you only want to be, don't like a lot of people overcomplicate this right you basically just want to be buying as soon as it breaks the trend line the upper trend line right and then you can place the stop loss on the day below or on the day before so low of the day or the current day's uh, low of the day so for example on tesla you could place your stop loss at the low of the day on this candle or this candle either either strategy works if you want a better risk reward ratio you always want to play stop loss at the current day slow right but the risk is that you're more higher chance to stop out and then if you do with the other candle the previous candle lower chance to stop out but not as a great risk reward ratio since your stop loss is further away so you have to position size smaller as well so this is a really good example right and then here's another very nice flag right tesla had a very wide range in the beginning and then it started to tighten up tighten up and then got a really big breakout and then yep so th those are some examples on tesla um and again a flags don't always work out right so here's an another example of a flag this one isn't that great of a flag right uh typically you want your flag to uh, like you don't want it to violate like this right so i i do see a lot of people drawing flags like this this is technically valid but it's not you, that's not a great flag setup compared to this, right? So typically when you're drawing your flags, you want them to connect. Uh, you don't want them to um, like break your flag like this. But if you, yeah, if you did consider this a flag setup, right? This one didn't work out, right? It broke down. So it's always remembered, it's always important to remember that um, these flag setups don't always go to the upside, right? Very, It's very likely that they can also break to the downside. But yeah, those are, couple examples on tesla here's another one right this is a good flag setup this one did not have the pull right it actually this is actually a bear flag right because the pull is coming from the down or coming from the top right so this is the bear flag or this is the pull and it's actually forming a bear flag here 
And this one actually ended up breaking to the upside, not to the downside. But um, yeah, this is another good flag setup. Let me remove it. Yeah, let's take a look at some other uh, names. So Affirm formed a really nice setup um, last year. Yeah, last year in December. So Affirm made a really strong move up, right? That went from um, $17 to 27 in a very short period of time. So here was the flag setup, right? Or, or, I mean, here's the pole, right? And then here it started forming a flag, started tightening. It started to tighten up, tighten up, and then got the big breakout on this candle. So again, to actually buy, you can buy as soon as it breaks out, right? So you can buy on the gap up, play stop on the low of the day. And then, um, yeah, we would have had a very, very nice rally, right? Went from 27 to $50 in a very short period of time. UPSD is another one that had a lot of sh nice short flag setups. So this one is different, right? So flag setups also don't have to be, uh, like for example, on Tesla, those flag setups were really long. So <clears throat> this one was from like four months, right? So typically when you get a long flag setup, the longer it is, the stronger, the more powerful the breakout will be. But short flag setups also work just as well, right? So this is technically like a mini flag right you have a this is the pole and then this is the flag and then you break out right uh again this is the pole this is the mini flag and then you break out so these ones are a little bit trickier to spot but once you train your eyes uh you'll get used to it very quickly so here's another flag setup right you make a big move up here's the little flag and then you break out again and then here's the big move up here's the little flag you break out again so these are mini flag setups but these are also technically uh they're, they're considered flags but uh typically the longer the flags are the stronger the breakout is like we saw in tesla but yeah let's go back to firm yeah this was a really strong breakout right nice flag setup huge breakout let's go let's go to coinbase coin also formed a very nice flag setup last year around december time right so it had a nice move up very strong no uh, they're very very long pull right and then here it started to tighten up tighten up tighten up and then break up and then this one was a really nice entry because it formed the inside bar right before the uh breakout day right so this was bible when it broke out the upper trend line stop loss at the low of the day and you would have made a very nice return costco is a great example so this one is one of those longer term flags right so costco has been basing for a year or yeah <clears throat> it has been basing for the entire year. Let me look at the weekly chart. Right, so this is the pole and this is the flag. And then it makes a huge move, right? Huge breakout. And yeah, this is a great example of the longer the break or the longer the flag, the stronger the breakout. And Costco is a great example of that. Yeah, let's go back to the daily chart. Carvana. So this is one of the strongest stocks recently this made yeah this went from three dollars to 128 from 2023 lows right so this is another flag setup over here right and this is technically another flag setup over here this is a really good flag setup and then this is another one right um and yeah carvana just had a huge huge breakup ever since um let's take a look at hood Hood, similar to UPST, right? Had a big move up, then formed the flag here, and then made a huge move again. And now it's currently forming another flag, right? So this one seems to be like a longer flag, um, and it's still tightening up, so this one needs more time, but maybe in August we can see a breakout. LLY, this one also formed a very strong flag setup over here. This one was for like three months, yeah, around two, three months, right? Formed the nice flag setup, broke out, and then consolidated here. So this technically, you could also consider it as a flag, but uh, I would just say I would just call it like a base breakout, right? Um, but yeah, LOY is another good example. Let's take a look at Monster. So Monster is very similar to that coin setup that we were looking at before. This one had a huge move though. Uh, very strong or very strong move up here and then it formed the flag and then broke out again and then spotify is a good example as well 
so Spotify made a big move up right and then here it started to form a flag right this was this is more like those down downtrend flags that I was talking about before um, and then it broke out here and made a big move and now it's forming another flag then this one's been forming for three months now so this one's a longer term flag um, very clear resistance and it's starting to get tighter and tighter right so it looks really it looks ready for a big breakout very soon here and then uh, yeah, we went over Tesla and then wing is also another example this one's a little bit choppier but it is still forming a flag here right broke out um, this one did end up pulling back in and then bounced off but yeah that's another example but yeah I hope that was helpful um, I know flags are a relatively basic topic right because everyone knows it but there are many variations and I wanted to go a little bit more in depth and show some specific examples of how well they work so I hope that was helpful um, yeah thank you guys for tuning in There's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with the trading mentor today, completely free of charge.